Hi everyone, welcome to Websites for Beginners in this overview video of Kubli or Kubli. I'll go with Kubli. In the last few weeks, I'd worked on a few of the posts for the websites and I had made a deliberate decision to do these posts within the Gutenberg editor or the WordPress editor for WordPress 5. Now, when WordPress 5 came out last year, it was hailed as the thing that was going to change our experience with how we design pages. Yeah, I've not been impressed at all. And in the latest post for better design, I got pretty frustrated by certain things I wanted to do. And I tried to limit myself only to the editor that you can find within the WordPress vanilla install. It, I'm not impressed and it's not impressive. And that set me off on a mission to go and look for those plugins and add-ons that you can get for WordPress editor. And I came across quite a number of them and I decided I want to feature Kubli or Kubli. And the reason for that is, wow, you're going to see what they offer in terms of both the free and pro version. It's not easy to beat that with the other plugins that you have currently on the market. I've tried a number of them. Some of them came out last year and I've seen they haven't been updated in more than a year. So let's have a quick look at Kubli leading WordPress Gutenberg block and page builder. And you can look in the description below for the link. Go check out the free one. And then you have to also check out the pro one. And they have specials running every now and again. I believe there's a special at this very moment of 50% discount for the pro version. Play around with it first. Maybe you're not a big fan for the Gutenberg editor. I like to use it still because I like to get a good theme and do my posts and, you know, the dynamic content in that. Let's quickly have a look at that. I show you this site over here. This entire site is done with Kubli and the WordPress editor. And this is a very minimalistic design. It's not even one of the fancy ones. I just quickly show you this one over here. And then if you go into the back end, you will see over here all the blocks you've got full width nice columns, rows, the works. And if you want to see how it looks after it has been installed, go up here to add a block. Then you look for Kubli, and these are the free ones. Right. So let's hop back there to Kubli and have a quick look. 150 plus ready sections and increasing every day. Every day should be two words. What does that mean? Let's have a look at these sections. Yes, pre-made blocks and sections and full kits. And when I talk about a kit, what Kubli has done is that they've made entire pages like this one for you to use. And then you just go and change the colors, the fonts, the content. Wonderful. So you can go through all these sections, 150 plus. It is gigantic. It is enormous. And they work seamlessly. This is really one of the first times I've installed a Gutenberg for WordPress editor plugin that I am highly impressed and that it works very well. These guys have gotten their strife with this one and I think it's going very nicely for them. Only Gutenberg blocks that boost your site performance. A lot of these are free and you can see a number and they are growing by the minute. And then very good smart layout builders that you get in there. You get gradient background colors, yay. Custom topography control, device specific responsive control. So they do have the tablet in there. They do have the phone in there and global color and topography setting. Very nice that you can set that color palette for your global styling and built in animation. Done very nicely, I have to say. And here are the starter layout packs that I had mentioned earlier. Let's go have a look at these all star starter layout packs. Ooh la la. Yes, quite a number of them. Let's go through them. And these ones are already getting more. You see the pro. Of course, you have to pay for that to get the pro. Let's see what is this coffee shop. Coffee shop, view five layouts. And these are the different pages that you will get for this. This is your home page, the menu gallery. And I'm looking at this. <laughs> I have to laugh because I think many of these photos I've used myself in coffee shop layout pages that I've done demos on. So we all tend to get the same images from Unsplash, me thinks. Those are the starter packs, which are basically ready-made pages for you to use. All the options you'll ever need, Kubli Free versus Kubli Pro. And what's going to happen in upcoming weeks is that we will look at all of these different, what do we call them now? Widgets? Blocks? Uh, what do they call it? Features? All of these various 
building blocks or widgets. We will look at them in separate videos, give them each their own video, go through how they work and show you how you can use it for both the free and the pro. So the starter packs are those full layout packs. Three you get in the free version. I showed you one of them over here. And then currently there are 10 in the pro version. The sections are these pre-made blocks, 61 in free and 90 altogether when you go for pro, give you more than 150 plus. And then you have all these widgets. You can see quite a number that you will get there in the free version. And over here, then you go into the pros. And at this moment, form builder, probably advanced gallery. These are ones that may entice you to get it. Post carousel, post grid and post list. And then for the e-commerce fanatics out there, the WooCommerce featured products and carousel and grid. All of these are coming with others like newsletter subscription, pie chart, Twitter feed, advertisement, countdown, image compare, and Instagram feed, to name but a few. So go check it out. There's also a roadmap here if you want to see what else is coming and how they are tackling the release of Kubli. I have to say, as a person who were not interested in the WordPress editor for a very, very long time, page builders had been my go-to. I actually think there's something here. And for my posts in the future, I'm going to incorporate as many of these into them to see how they work. And hopefully I won't be pulling all my hair out as I've been doing in the last few weeks. And I think that's a good overview for now. Check out for the upcoming videos on the individual sections and features that we will be looking at. And remember to subscribe here to our channel at Websites for Beginners.